What's up guys? I am Aonot and welcome back to the channel and this is a very special day because we will make our very own recording studio setup. So it's very cheap, it's very, it's very homemade, you can do it at home and it wouldn't really cost that much to buy a proper setup. But you probably should get a proper setup because... Okay! So first, what we will do is to put up a green screen. So how do you make a green screen? You buy one. So I bought one from the uh, store the other day and this is from a local fabric store and this is very cheap, this is very uh, low cost, this is very not expensive. Most importantly, this is green, actually of high quality so it's really good. Next, we would have two options how to put up the green screen. First option, we would use broken extension cord. So broken extension cord is what it is. We would use it as a clothesline kind of thing for the green screen. So we would just hang the green screen over there. So you secure one end of the cord at the other end of the room and then secure this end of the cord at the other end of the room. By that I mean and then pull it. Then the cord will rise like this then, yeah, you can put the green screen down there afterwards. Now that the green screen setup is there, you can now have fun. So the next option that I would show you would be using a PVC pipe. I will input an image right here of how it would look like and right here of the measurements of the PVC pipes. So first things first, we will need our PVC pipes. So I bought these from our local hardware store. Next, we would need these joints. Things that I don't know what they're called but they are obviously PVC and they are used to connect the PVC pipes. Now that we have all those things, let's make our own PVC pipe frame. We would use our one foot PVC pipes as our base. I would use these tea stuffs to connect. One leg is done. Two legs are done. So essentially what this would look like would be like six feet tall and six feet wide. That's what I'm going to do. Six feet. Another six feet. Oh, it's the five feet height of our setup. Okay, so let's connect pieces together so it would look like a frame more. So, the sides of the frame, which are both five feet, so let's do it. Let's continue. and the side frame together okay so this is a six feet tall height of the frame I'm not sure if you can see the other end but it's connected and it is standing yeah! They're half inch pipes, so they're really jiggly. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is use this as the stabilizer for the whole frame. So Let's do it right now. Okay, as you can see it's more stable right now so it's time to insert the last piece. This would 
would be where we would hang the green screen. So this is not hard. It really just took me like 10 minutes to set up. And we're connected. So this is the top part of the frame. We're done! So as you can see, it is a really big frame. So it's basically 6 by 6 feet. So all right, just hang our green screen from up there. Our very own green screen setup. So right now, just gonna stabilize them. And then they're ready. Okay, so for this part, we would use two laundry clips and some tissue papers. So right now, we're Facebook. Okay, so right now, we are on our laptop. Okay, so we, we will just clip this clips in. Okay, so we're here. And then, if you can see over there, are the clips and then I will put it in the middle and it is stable so right now we have completed our setup and I used uh, Sony Vegas Pro for editing and OBS for uh, capturing and also shadow play because I have a very strong computer anyways thank you guys for watching I hope you like this uh, so leave a like leave a comment down there and also thanks to our GCP uh, for sponsoring this video um, thank you so for your uh, retro gaming needs consoles buy and sells or repairs please go to their Facebook page I'll just put a link somewhere so yeah thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next video